So hey guys, today I got an interesting video. Today I'm showing you how to change. I'm not saying how to make it because that's gonna be a lengthy process of its own and I'm gonna make it probably in the future, but how to change your boot up screen if you ever have your phone already in this state. When it's custom ROM then you already have the boot your own boot up screen. So if you have if you're interested in having T Mobile as a you can have that. Or if you're interested you have a sprint as a thing also you can have that but the question sets how to do this because it's not just that easy so as you can see my custom rom s8 here there's a definitely a uw and also we're going to change this to say verizon instead of having a custom made boot up screen in fact, LMT is a real carrier, but they don't have a boot up screen for their phone. Okay, good. Phone boot. Now, we go grab your recording. I want to make an, uh, some so I can hear. It. Uh, you can hear me what I'm doing. So I'm still recording on my phone, so you can actually see what I'm doing. You need a couple of pieces of software, and also there's another thing that you need must be have done. The phone must be rooted, so this to work. If you don't have this phone rooted, this is not going to work. But anyway, the piece of software that you need is called um, Solid Explorer. Uh, Solid Explorer, you can find an APK file that's modded, or the original one gives you like 15 days trial period, and then it complains. You need to have root access to your device, so all good. We have that. And what we want is if I find the where is it? What is it? What is it? Downloads. Yeah, boot up screens. There you go. And I need Verizon one. Boot up screen right here. As you can see, there's boot Samsung QMG and then Samsung Loop QMG. So, what do we need to do is now go back to that explorer that you saw. That I told you about and find. So you need to be at root of the phone. You need to find storage, self, primary. Now that's the internal storage that you have. Now go into downloads going to boot up and where you have saved your well downloads wherever you have saved your boot up screen or stuff like that if you want to again but I would want to change it so I go into boot up go into Verizon thing and now grab these two files copy go back to root and now go into system and find media and you can see right here all the way somewhere here you can see the boot up screen thing right here now paste here and remember and do the new all now refresh then you can see right there where the two like the dot like this says RWW RW. Now press on both of these. Go into here. Properties. Attribute, uh, attributes. And from W to R, apply. And now, if you reboot the device. We never changed the uh, shutdown screen, so that's always been sprint. But as you can see right here, Verizon. I hope you enjoyed this quick video of explaining how to change your boot up screen.